All right guys, today we're gonna to be going over the GX3 hybrid saddle. Not a lot of people know about this saddle. It's kind of new. It's more of a mix between like a climber and a saddle. That's how I would explain it as, is a climber mixed with a saddle. You get the comfortableness of a climber while getting the attributes of what a saddle offers you. You can get in crooked trees. Same thing as a saddle, it's just super comfortable. So the first thing about this saddle is it kind of looks intimidating with all the the ropes and stuff and adjustments but it makes it just way more comfortable you've got a belt buckle right here so i can strap myself in here i can strap myself in right here and i really like these this the top one because i film all my hunts and i can put my camera right here when i'm going up my tree and as soon as i get to my tree if i have my sticks and my bow and my bow in one hand, my sticks in the other. I go up to my tree, I can set my bow down. I've got my bow strap hooked on me. I've got a fanny pack on the back right here. So when I go in the woods, I'm ready. I don't have to put on this and this. I literally just grab this pack and my bow and we're off. And then whenever I get up there, I just put my bridge on. Super fast, adjustable. perfect and I like to take my shoulder straps off it may not be as safe but I feel more like I can pull my bow back you're fine pulling your bow back to your left but to your right it's harder with these shoulder straps on because it's hard to get my left shoulder over to where I can put my bow <clears throat> and the, the main thing about this saddle is this right here the most important thing the knees I hate how a traditional saddle my knees are in the tree so a traditional saddle i'm sitting here like this all day long i do a lot of all day sits and my knees i hate it i hate wearing knee pads early season they're sweating they're nasty just another thing i gotta remember so i extend this and i literally it's just holding me i mean my knees aren't on the tree my feet are off the ground i'm leaning back and it's it's as comfortable as a climber gets if you have a climber a summit viper climber you know how comfortable it is and it feels the exact same way only you're more alert because you're in that saddle kind of you're not just fully reclined with a bar across to you like right now i could pick up my bow let's say i see a deer coming in i can pick up my bow and draw and i don't even have to move maybe lean forward a little bit i'm super secure my right hand shot is even easier because I've had the Mantis saddle, I've had a Phantom saddle, I've had the Eba Heart series, I've made saddles. Um, back when I first got into saddle hunting, I actually, before I even knew what a GX3 was, I kind of had like a prototype GX3 because I was trying to kind of make a climber slash saddle because saddles are so amazing with getting in trees quietly, um, quickly. But the only downfall about that I would say about this saddle is it's a little it's a little bulkier. Um, we're not sponsored by this JX3, but I just love the saddle. I mean, I like the only saddle that I could say that the traditional ones that I liked was the Phantom, and because of the adjustability, it wasn't as tight on my hips. I'm a bigger dude. Um, I'm six one, two ten, and. It the, just the, the Mantis, the Eva Heart saddle, none of them really fit me. And especially if I was doing an all-day sit, I couldn't just lean back and be comfortable. I'd be by the end of the day, I was super sore, and I'm young, so I should that shouldn't happen. So another cool feature is this: it has a bow hanger, like a bow clip. So if I'm sitting here, like on the edge, I can put my bow right here. The only downfall about that is your bow hangs a little lower when your arrow's in it, so it could, you could hit your platform. That's why I don't always use it unless I have a tree that, like this one, where I'm kind of to the side, and I can sit it right, just right there, and it won't touch. But GX3 makes a better clip than these. These are, they get the job done, but I don't really like them. I always run a hiss strap with a little homemade thing to hold my bow. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like this saddle. 
I think it's worth the money. It's 450 bucks, which is a lot of money on anything hunting. I mean, that's as much as a rifle. That's as much as a new bow. But it's worth it. You know, you're sitting, if you're putting in a lot of sits, you're sitting in the tree all day, you want to be comfortable, I'd buy a JX3. Because I've tried, I've tried, like I said, I've tried the, all those saddles, and none of them are as comfortable as this one.